Hello and welcome to the Open Virtual Film Project. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Blender Unreal Bridge on the Blender side of things. First things first, you need the Open Virtual Film Project from openvirtualfilmproject.com. And if you go to the Downloads page, the latest version will be there. Click on that, download it to your computer. The other thing you're going to need for this is Blender 2.83. Um, I'm currently using LTS 2.83.5, but have tested it from 2.83.0 forward. Once you have the Open Virtual Film Project and Blender downloaded, go ahead and open Blender. With Blender open, we now want to install a new add-on. So we can go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons. Then we're going to hit this install button in the top right hand corner. Navigate to where you downloaded that Open Virtual Film Project 1.0. Inside of there is going to be a plugins folder, OVFB plugin, content, Python, and you want the Blender to Unreal Bridge file. If I install that, it will focus my attention to just that add-on. I'm going to enable the add-on and then open up this drop-down for further settings. Inside of here, I can change the file export path. When this tool sends files to Unreal, it first exports those files as an FBX, a duplicate of your Blender file, and several CSV files so that Unreal can open them and read them in the correct way. By default, the file path is set to the same directory that your Blender file is saved. If you want to change that, click the folder icon here and navigate to where you want to go. If you're on a large virtual production film where you might be handing off to VFX, having a record of every single import that you've done in one easy to transfer format is a very useful thing. So in the past, I've worked on shows where this type of export directory would be on a shared server for all of us. Next in the list of preferences are asset categories. When you are importing into Unreal, these are different folders inside of the assets folder that you can set from this tool. So if you need a different folder to show in this dropdown, shown on the right here, you would go into here, add a comma, and type that. You can also use forward slashes inside of this field to create subfolders inside of that assets folder. So for instance, this gaff grip slash fabric and gaff grip slash C stand would be two folders inside the gaff grip folder. The last function is a tick box on whether or not you want to allow duplicate textures in the output folder. Generally, I keep this ticked off to save on memory space, but if you're working on something where it's absolutely required to make a record of every single file that you create, you should tick this on. All right, with the tool installed to get rid of the preferences panel, and now with Blender open, if I hit the N key, it will pop open my sidebar and I want to go under Tools. And now I have a Blender Unreal Bridge tool set up. Inside of there, there's a setup function. Right now, I'm going to set up a default Blender scene. So every single time Blender opens, I want it to open like this. So first thing, I will delete everything from the scene and click the BTU set default units. What that does is sets the unit system to metric, the unit scale to 0 0.01, and the length scale to centimeters, which are the required units for this bridge to work correctly with Unreal. Then going down the line, there's information about your asset, which you'll fill out in a different way if you're importing an asset or a scene or eventually an animation, which does not work yet. A button to remove duplicate materials and remove unused material slots. Some model integrity checks that are in progress. 
some cleanup tools. The ability to set naming conventions and the ability to export and send to Unreal. Each of these functions will be covered in a later video, either when we're discussing scenes or assets. Once I've got my files set up and my units correct, I'm going to hit File, Defaults, Save Startup File. And that will just make sure when I open this file and start working that my Blender units will be art that my scene will be set up to send files to Unreal, that my scene will be set up to send, that my scene will be set up to send files to Unreal by default. The last thing I want to touch on this video is a few other add-ons that I have installed in Blender that I just find very useful. The first is an add-on called Measure It, which is a rudimentary but good just dimensioning tool in Blender importing and exporting FBX files, as well as images as planes and SDL files. The ability to import and export UV layouts. Something called modifier tools, which allows me to apply or delete all modifiers from an object with a couple of clicks. The object align tools. And then two plugins from outside sources that I find really useful in my daily work. First of which is the Texel Density Checker, which allows me to put checker materials and make really quick and dirty UV maps on objects, as well as set a Texel Density, so how big a UV square is on an object to a real world unit. That way I can UV map inside of Blender without any textures assigned to an object import to Unreal and apply materials inside of Unreal without getting weird scale issues. The other plugin that I use very frequently is one called All Material List, which is just a quick view of all of the materials that exist in my scene and some quick functions to make working with materials a little bit easier than what Blender does by default. Okay, that's it for this video. In the next series of videos, we're going to start going through importing things into Unreal from Blender. Thank you for watching.